got a big bag, let me change that Show me with your friends at, we can get that Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Show you where the red at, where the blue at Show me where they flip that, where they bitch at Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game y'all it's your boy alex make sure you like make sure you subscribe and we gotta talk about <laughs> kevin samuels who's no longer known as the godfather to me kevin samuels is known as bashful bashful from the seven dwarfs if y'all know who bashful is that's bashful And why is Kevin Samuel known as Bashful? Because Kevin Samuels let Britney Renner, aka the Tricks Rabbit, aka Roxanne, if y'all don't know who Roxanne is, this Roxanne. He let this basic ass IG model, okay? The same chick who Colin Kaepernick flew out, banged her cakes, and made her buy her own plane ticket back home. The same chick who had to beg to get J. Cole to even stop and acknowledge her when she was doing interviews. Rolling loud. No? What's up, rolling loud? What's up, rolling loud? I appreciate y'all. Good night. We appreciate you. are a motherfucking legend. You know that, right? Thank you. Thank you. You see how she was acting like a fan? J. Cole, you're a legend. He like, thanks. And he just left her there standing there like this. <sighs> well, that's what she did to Kevin Samuels. You don't believe me? She turned him into bashful. Don't believe me? Look at this. I don't discriminate, though. All right. I've, I've dealt with someone who was over 50. Yeah. Hey, don't be writing down in the comment section. Wink, wink. I don't discriminate. Look at that man. That man in there like this. He's starstruck. That man was looking at Brittany Renner, how a high school girl looked when she get chosen by the team captain of the football or the basketball team. That man was looking at her like the female character in the anime when she hype off of the hero in the story. She's like, no, 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 no. That was Kevin Samuels. He, you talk about not holding masculine frame. That girl held ass man all out of his masculine frame. Come on, man. How you got Brittany Renner on there? And you don't, he didn't ask her not one hard question that man ain't asking why the hell she was at a 19 year old's game being a predator and setting him up to have a baby when she was a grown-ass woman he ain't asked no questions about that he ain't say nothing about her book with her tell all karen stephan superhead book when she talking about all the dudes she slurped up when she talking about all the time she got her back blown out he ain't bring that goddamn book up not one time he ain't bring up how she have a kid and she's still shaking her ass everywhere and prostituting everywhere he ain't ask what your son gonna think when he grow up he ain't ask her no hard question she talked over him he go off on every other black woman who talks over him but he did not go off on her for talking over him she he didn't tell her to go get no dog he ain't tell her she gonna die alone. He ain't tell her what she ain't deserve. He ain't nothing. He talked to this woman with complete respect from start to finish after taking her shopping, after driving around on the McLaurin. So if I don't wanna hear nothing about business, listen, is he gonna get clicks? Yes. Is he gonna get views? Yes. Is he gonna make money? Yes. But all money ain't good money. I lost complete respect for Kevin Samuels after this. I gotta be straight up with you because if you can bring professional women with degrees on your show, right? You could bring on doctors. You could bring on lawyers. You could bring on nurses, right? You could bring on all these different type of women and you could tell them that their degree don't matter and they're average at best and they gonna die alone and they should get a dog and they can't have this and they can't have that. But then you bring on the queen of thoughts who literally wrote a book about how she was disrespected and dogged out and you up there giggling like bash for <laughs> You all out of frame. Your whole energy shifted, dog. There's no way. Then he gonna say that weak stuff. I know y'all thought I was gonna bring her on the show to disrespect her and violate her, but I ain't gonna do that. I match energy. No, you don't. The video that blew Kevin Samuels up, the average at best video, that girl did not disrespect Kevin Samuels. She didn't. He was just mad because she called in his show and she was off topic and he felt like she was being delusional. And he ripped that girl apart. 
He talked about how she looked. He talked about how she never gonna find what she looking for. He talked about her being a single mother. He ripped that girl to shreds in front of millions of people. And then you get this thought on there who's a single mom, who's a predator, who's a bird, who wrote a book about it, and you spend a bag on her and give her the utmost respect? And then you try to tell these dudes, y'all just hurt. Y'all just want me to attack her because y'all want me to attack the type of women, do you know, that hurt you in your past. Man, please. That's what you do on a regular basis. Y'all, that's his platform. He let y'all know that he knows what his platform is. I've been telling y'all, Kevin Samuel's platform is to attack degree-holding black women because a lot of black men, not all, but a lot of black men don't make six figures. A lot of black men don't have degrees. And a lot of black men don't have enough money to even sit in a room with a lot of these black women to treat a lot of these black women or to even upkeep the lifestyle that a lot of these black women live. So Kevin Samuels bring these degree holding black women on there and tear them down to make y'all feel better about yourselves. He didn't tear down Britney Rame and at the end of the day, his simp ass wanted to hit it. He probably never, come on now. How you got respect for a blue jazz man, Britney Renner, but you don't got respect for the average black woman with a degree? At least keep the same energy. I wouldn't have no problem with it if he kept the same energy, but this man lost complete frank. There's no way you can call this a win for Kevin Samuels. And when you come from, when you're to the point where you have to market by putting literal thoughts who wrote books about their thoughtiness on your show and talk to them with respect and take them shopping to even get them to go on your goddamn show, <laughs> you falling off bad. You shouldn't have to do that. That's not business. What type of business is that? You broke mold. You broke character. Listen, man, I know Kevin Samuel's little friend's going to come in here and they're going to call me this and they're going to call me that. And that's all fine. I don't need YouTube money. I'm sitting on a rooftop downtown. Let me show y'all something. I'm sitting on a rooftop downtown right now. I don't need YouTube money. So y'all can say whatever the hell y'all want to say about me. I don't care. But this dude called a mean L, man. I had to take down my last video and redo this video because I was wrong. I didn't even think he was going to interview her. I thought he was just going to bang her cakes and send her on her way. To be honest with you, he would have been better off if he just banged his cake, her cakes and sent her on her way. Because she embarrassed him in this interview, man. She killed a lot of his points. She's basically like, I don't care about none of that. I ain't worried about getting married. Why worry about getting married when I can come out here? I got a kid by PJ Washington so I can trap young dudes. I can deal with your old ass. Your old ass is spend the bag on me. Why worry about getting married? I don't care. I don't think women are worried about that. He didn't even know what to say. He, <laughs> well, I would guess it. She even killed him on a high value men with options thing. She's like, well, why be with a high value man and get cheated on when I can just be out in these streets dealing with dudes like you? Why be with a high value man? Let him cheat when I could be out here doing my boy, man. I'm sorry. I, I gotta be real with y'all. I can't respect it, man. I'm not subscribed to Kevin Samuels. I was never a big Kevin Samuels follower anyway. I, I thought for every good point he made, he also reached on a lot of points. And I don't understand how he became the voice of high value men anyway. All right. All my, all my dudes, my whole entire circle of dudes, everybody I hang with, engineers, IT, software developers, even the women I deal with, nurses, lawyers, doctors. I don't hang with people who don't got money. Nobody has these problems Kevin Samuel is talking about over here because we all got bread. At the end of the day, Kevin's fan base is a bunch of average ass black men who mad because these black women got more money than them and they can't keep up. And he makes them feel better about themselves by attacking these girls and calling them delusional and telling them how they're never going to find what they're looking for. And I would respect it if he would have did the same thing to Britney Renner. But you wouldn't tell this woman who wrote a book about her sex capades, who is a predator at college campuses and is a single mother with a big old fake Brazilian butt lift that she delusional and she don't got no chance. But you want to tell the average degree holding black woman that. Can't respect it, man. Can't respect it. So, hey, listen, get your money, black man. You know, I, I ain't flagging you or nothing. I'm just giving my opinion on it. I can't respect that. I don't see how anybody, male or female, can, black woman, if you go on Kevin Samuel's show and you let that man go off on you, when you just watch this thought walk all over him, he's stumbling on his words and everything, lost all his frame. If you go on that show, man, cuss you out after that, you pathetic too. You, he shouldn't be able to cuss out nobody after this. He, he shouldn't. He sure you couldn't even hold frame with a thought. And you, you know, I don't want to hear, oh, it's business, oh, it's business. So at this point, you're telling me as a man, not a woman, a man, you based how much you respect a woman, not on her degrees, not on how she's carrying herself, but on her clout. So you respected Brittany Renner because she has a platform as big as yours and she can help you grow? That's what you respected her for? That's not what we're supposed to do as men. That sounds like some girl shit to me.
Women's are supposed to respect you based upon money and clout. Not men. Men's supposed to respect you based upon the content of your character. So I don't want to hear that argument. Oh, he just did that because, you know, she got she got a platform. It's business. Nah, man. Nah, man. Because he could have brought her on that platform and kept the same energy. At least DJ Academics called her ass out, man. Hey, look, like I said, I ain't hating on the man. He got to get his bag. I think it's sad that he making his bag off of picking on degree holding black women. I think that that's really corny, but if that's the way he wanna get his bag, he can get his bag like that. But I don't wanna hear no talk about Kevin Samuels no more. I'm not even gonna mention Kevin Samuels on this channel no more after I just seen that Britney Renner interview. You talk all that and doing this and doing that and being high value and you bow down to a thought. PJ Washington, J. Cole ain't bow down to her. Colin Kaepernick ain't bow down to her, but you did. Mr. High Value, get out of here. Kevin Samuels acted like somebody who ain't never seen a bad chick before in his life. That's what he acted like when he was around Britney Renner. I'm not here for it, man. I'm not here for it, man. So that's my thoughts on that. I'm not talking about Roxanne and Bashful Dorf no more. That's the end of that. That's my opinion on Like, psh, hey, man, like I said, y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do. I'm Alex, and I'm out. Peace.